In our previous videos, we have created a table to store plant data from a JSON feed. And we are going to use this data to pre-populate an autocomplete text view. We have also created a method that will insert plants into that table. And we created a method to fetch all global unique identifiers so that we can make sure that we don't insert duplicates. In this video, we're going to add a couple more queries that we're going to need. One is simply a count to see, hey, do we have a substantial number of plants already in the database? The other thing that we're going to do is we're going to iterate over a collection of plants that we've downloaded from our JSON feed, and we are going to try to insert those into the database. So let's start with the count method. I am going to make a new method that says public. And this is just a count, a number, so int is fine. Count plants. Naturally, I should put some javadoc on here. I'll leave that up to you. Int plant count equals zero. I don't like having red lines like I do down here, so I am going to take care of the red line immediately. And that just wants me to satisfy my contract, and I need to return an int. So I declare the variable that I'm going to return up above and return it down below. Now we need to make our query. String SQL equals select count. That's a normal SQL function that is supported by SQLite from, and now yet let's use that constant. What was the name of our table? It was plants. So select count from plants and terminate with a semicolon. Okay, just like we did on our earlier query where we call get readable database dot raw query, we'll do the same thing here. Let me put a couple comments in first. Our SQL statement. That's pretty obvious, I guess. Get readable database. We're not going to commit anything to the database, so get readable database is fine. Dot raw query, and then SQL. And there are no parameters, so we'll pass in null for the second argument. Terminate with a semicolon. Control Shift V. Uh, get readable database raw query is going to return a cursor. So to save ourselves some typing, Control Shift V will assign the return from raw query to a new variable, uh, and it will figure out that that is a cursor. Yeah, looks good to me. Okay, so we'll say run the query. Okay, and now we're going to say if cursor dot get count greater than zero, did we receive a result, in, in other words. And you know what? I forgot. Uh, I did my cardinal sin here. As soon as I have a cursor, before I do anything else, I want to close the cursor. If not, we might have a runtime exception if we're running a lot of, uh, if we're running uh, quite a few queries. So cursor.close. Sorry, I did that a little bit out of sequence. Now we're back. Okay. Did we get a result? Okay. If we did, then let's go to the first row, cursor, and there should only be one. A select count should only return one row. Cursor, dot move to first. Okay. And then we're going to say cursor, dot get int. We're getting uh, a count is going to return an integer. And since we're only selecting count, we're only selecting one column essentially, we know this is going to be in column zero. Okay. Uh, control, uh, actually, we're just going to say plant count equals cursor dot get int zero. And there we go. So this query is going to select a count of rows in the database. I'll tell you what, that's pretty good for now. Let me go ahead and stop this video. In the next video, we'll pick up the part where we iterate over the list of plants in our GPS of plant. And what we're going to do here, this happens. What we're, we are going to, uh, oops, we're going to iterate over this list of plant DTOs. We're going to run the query that says, okay, um, does this already exist in the database? And if not, put it in. But first, we're going to just kind of do a gut check and say, uh, how many rows do we have? Because if we already have a thousand rows or so, then uh, we don't need to insert any rows. And that's where this query is going to come into place. So stay tuned for the next video where we put everything together. Thank you.